Good morning guys, welcome to the video. My name's Derek, also known as Tap Peddler, and I am renovating my old 1800s barn to be a business warehouse. Um, if you haven't already seen the other videos, there's a few videos before this one. And there's an introduction video, which I'll link in the description. Um, so you can go back and have a look at my initial plans of this barn. Started to create a um, cutting area that I'm going to do here because I've got all this wood, old floorboards to cut up and an old um, bed frame. I'm going to use that wood to burn in my wood burner. So I'm going to do that on that old table. And once that's um, done, I'm going to cut up the old table as well. So that will go as well because it is it's quite rotten and stuff. So I'm going to take the good wood off there and then get rid of the rest. Um, yeah, and it's becoming quite clear. We've cleared up this side now, so it's really just the um, scaffolding that's left there. Um, that's all clear. And we've cleared over here as well. So we've got rid of all the stuff there. This is all just rubbish. We're gonna um, dispose of him in the skip. Um, today, I'm tackling the floor in this area. Um, if I bring you over here, I'll show you the this area here. It's actually under quite a dry bit of the the roof. The floor is basically it's covered in quite thick mud, but underneath, as you can see here, there appears to be. Some sort of brick here, some concrete and stone over here, some more concrete over here. So there's a mixed, a mixed bag. But what I want to do eventually is to put a concrete screed over all of this. So all this I want to take back to the whatever's at the base of it, so I can use that as my base of the concrete um, instead of the the mud which is on top. Um, I think the mud is basically from many, many years of the roof being open and probably farm, farm animals being in here and that sort of thing. So if I can get it down, get it down to this everywhere, which is going to be quite backbreaking work. I've just done this tiny little space here and it's not even properly done. And I've filled up this wheelbarrow. Um, so yeah, I'm basically scraping it up like this and put it in, in, in the wheelbarrow and I'm going to dump it um, down the edge of my field um, and I've got the whole of the, the barn to do um, and the other barn beyond this as well although I don't think there's any sort of subfloor in there so I may not have to do it in there Okay, this is this is really hard work. Um, let me show you what I've done so far. Okay, so you can see there is now something here. This broom is not up to the job. I need something like a hard, really hard bristle or something so I can really bash away at this, this stuff and clear clear it up a little bit um, if you get down to that everywhere but it's definitely not going to be any good to use as the main floor because it's um, too uneven when you've got issues with depth there and then it goes higher right up here there's a huge high bit here um, so yeah, it was probably fine for farm animals and stuff, but it's not going to be not going to be good enough for a proper floor, I don't think. So um, concrete screed is 100% definitely going to have to happen. Um, but hopefully, just on top of all of this, um, this will create a nice sub base for it, though, which is good, I suppose. But yeah, I need to get down to this everywhere that it exists 
it seems to be in the majority of places it's this brick so if i can get down to that but i need like a wire a wire brush basically instead of that one which i can really sort of rub away at that sort of stuff and get it get all these basically cleaned up really nicely good morning guys it's um another day um and i'm well i've started to um brush up more of the thing i bought a new broom from b and q let me show you so i bought this broom here and it snapped literally used it for i don't know a minute just sweeping up just the i'll show you so i was just basically sweeping this here up to here so it's nothing strenuous it's a thick like stiff brush um and it's just snapped at the, the end you can see see here it's just broken on that plastic bit at the end absolute waste of money so i'm pleased i kept my receipt because that's going back I'm not happy about that. I haven't even used it um, for anything. Um, so that's going back. So don't buy the £15 stiff brush from B&Q because it's rubbish. So I'm now going to have to look at alternatives. Um, I just need something that's going to be, that's going to last because I've got all this barn to do. So... I mean, it was, it works fine. I mean, my previous brush was fine. It just wasn't, um, it just wasn't the stiff, stiff bristles. So I might just get my money back and buy one elsewhere. What I might do is see if I can get something that has like a metal end. Because that's just not going to be up to the job. Um, so yeah, that's annoying. Um, so that's going to delay stuff as well now. I don't really want to make a special trip to B&Q just to, just to take that back either. So I might take that back tomorrow when I go to the parcel shop because it's around that area. Okay, it's the end of the day now. Let me show you what I've done. So as you can see, I've cleared all of this um, concrete at this side now which is good that's all completely clear i also have this area completely clear and took down to the um the stone that's there um in the middle i really need to get the wire brush i've ordered I've ordered a wire wire brush and a really thick um thistle brush um from ebay so Hopefully that will allow me to clean up the um, stones here. And this is like stone and cobble. Uh, but if I can get rid of this and get it clear. Um, here, very similar job. You can see how thick, let me get the spade. See how thick the mud is compared to, compared to the stone that's in the mud. So there's Quite a lot of mud to come off. I'm just filling the wheelbarrow. Um, so that'll be quite interesting to get it down to that. Hopefully in this area. And here, this is all um, concrete. Just here. So um, my plan is to clear this. Shovel this all out. So it will basically look like that one. Um, so yeah, it's coming along. But it's still, it's, bait, um, it's back breaking work doing all of this. Um, but it needs to be done, it needs to be emptied. But so much better, eh? Over in this corner. It's a shame about the roof. But, <laughs> but let me show you where um, I put the rebel. I've 
made, I put this sheeting down, I've made a pile of um, bits of um, tile there because I want to make sure that I've got a few, a few scraps like that just to infill stuff and I do want to put some more drainage in so that might help with that as well and I've been just pouring the um, earth down here because it's basically a slope anyway so it's better than filling the the um, skip this is the back of the burn as I've shown you before this is the current state of the skips They're getting quite full now but I'll be piling it up as much as I can so there's that one and here's the metal not much more has been added to the metal from the last time really thanks again for watching um, not much has sort of been shown in this video it's all the same just clearing sweeping digging dumping so I haven't done much recording of that sort of work although let me know if you want time lapses and stuff maybe I could set the camera going um, things will get more interesting once I get um, the car moved and I continue to clean clean the floor up I think um, yeah so yeah keep watching subscribe if you're not already subscribed give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video bye for now